Hello everyone, it is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Tonight I had some extra hamburger I had to use up and it just happened to be a pound and guess what? This recipe calls for a pound of ground beef. What we're going to do tonight is use the Instant Pot and this is simple. It's called Instant Pot Ground Beef Pasta. How much simpler than that can it be? And I don't have a lot of time this evening so I would like to do something quick and stuff in the Instant Pot is almost done instantly. Rather than a slow cooker, which I do like to put on all day while you go to work, the Instant Pot can be a quick alternative when you get home from work. So for this recipe, you will need one pound of ground beef, one tablespoon of oil, three teaspoons minced garlic, and three teaspoons of Italian blend seasoning, or that would also be one tablespoon of each. Not sure why someone refers to it as three teaspoons instead of just one tablespoon, but that's just me, just me, I'm strange. 24 ounces of marinara sauce. I do not have marinara sauce, but I did have Prego traditional sauce, and it is a 24 ounce jar. Two cups of water, one cup of beef broth, and I will be using, Campbell is great for cooking, 16 ounces, one pound, short, uncooked pasta noodles like shells, macaroni, penny, or bow ties. So I just happen to have a 16 ounce box of elbow macaroni. That's what I'm gonna be using. One teaspoon of onion powder. This is optional, which I will not be using, but if you like a little heat, one half teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, one cup of freshly grated mozzarella cheese. I have two here, I won't use it all, but I do know I will use more than a cup. So I have eight ounces, which is two cups of mozzarella cheese. It's calling for four in the recipe. And then a little salt and pepper to taste. Now to me, I am always amazed at these instant pots and how things can get cooked, like these noodles. How can they get cooked in the allotted time that we're gonna be cooking this stuff? It's just amazing to me. So what you're gonna do is set your pressure cooker to saute. So let me find saute. All right, it's on saute. Okay, <laughs> like to just check. All right, it says it's on now. I was touching it just to see if I could feel a little heat, but now it does say it's on. So what we're gonna do is pour our tablespoon of oil in there, and I'm just gonna guesstimate. I don't need to measure it out. So I'm just gonna pour a little in. Hope that's a tablespoon, close enough. And once that heats up, we're gonna throw our hamburger in there and saute it and brown it, break it up into little pieces. So I'll wait till that gets hot, and you guys know how I test that. A little bit of cold water just like that and by golly you can tell if that's hot and ready for your hamburger I should call it ground beef because it's actually not hamburger until you cook it right or can you refer to this as hamburger or ground beef or is it only hamburger once it's cooked comment in the section below and let me know what you think I'll probably put it up on the screen though I always call it hamburger but it is ground beef Let's see if this is getting hot. I'm sure you guys are anxious for me to move on. No, it's not hot yet. Let me just taste this and see if it tastes like mozzarella cheese. Yeah. What you're also gonna wanna do is have a bowl ready with a lid because once we fry up our hamburger, we're gonna remove it, put it in the bowl, cover it up, keep it warm. I was going to use my battery operated uh, can opener, but I'm a little disappointed in this. Sometimes he behaves and other times he does not. So I'm just going to throw him in the drawer. Yep. Okay. Now it's getting hot. So let's go ahead and break up our hamburger. And we will saute that for maybe four to five minutes or until it's brown. Do you know I had an aunt? Now this was way back when, you know. I'm 59 years old and I was a kid, but she used to eat raw hamburger, brown beef. 
never got sick. I don't think I'd do it today. I don't even know if she does it today. But yeah, she used to eat roll, roll ground beef. It's hard for me to say. I'm going to call it hamburger. Whether it's cooked or non-cooked. Let's do our tablespoon of garlic, which they said three teaspoons, and our tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And we're going to stir that around and simmer that for about another minute. That was about a minute. Let's scoop it out. Cover that up. Next it says add marinara. It's a 24 ounce jar. Your water, which is two cups. The broth, which is one cup of beef broth. The noodles, which is one pound, 16 ounces. The onion powder, which is one teaspoon. And then if you're going to add the red pepper flakes, that is a half a teaspoon. Give it a good stir, which I'll stir that around. Let's put the lid on, lock it into place. You know what, I really am crappy at this. Hello, where are you at? Lock the lid into place. Go ahead and lock the sealing mechanism up here, whatever you call it. That way it's not venting. Set pressure cooker or manual for eight minutes. Okay, so let's go to pressure cooker. Let's go to cancel the saute. First, I had to cancel the saute. So let's go to pressure cooker and we're gonna set it for eight minutes. One, two. It might take, oh, okay, now it's on, it says. Make sure everything's sealed up. It'll automatically uh, have keep warm on there once you're done. Uh, so if you don't want to keep it warm, make sure you shut that off afterwards. But it might take it a little while for the pressure to build up and then it'll start. We'll see. We have two minutes to go. That took about 10 minutes to build enough pressure and then it went into the eight minute cycle. Now, okay, now remember, this is gonna shoot clear up, so be very cautious. Once the float valve drops, that means we can remove the lid. All right, it has dropped. We can remove the lid. All right, next we're going to add our burger back in. Mix that around. Then we're going to add our cheese. I'll probably use about six ounces. Then you can season with a little salt and pepper. It also says you can season with a little basil and thyme, whatever seasonings you want. Just let the cheese melt. Let's scoop a little bit out. See what it tastes like. I'll just cover it up. It'll stay warm for a while. What would be good is to eat that with a biscuit, some butter bread, See what it tastes like. Yep, it's pretty darn good. Yeah, that's really good. I probably used about six ounces of mozzarella. So I think you'll like it. It's quick, easy. I would recommend it. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. So thanks for joining me here once again on Dee's Delights and I hope you have a great week everyone.